in the world of dragons. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Happy Friday. Or whenever it is you may view this video. Um, I haven't beaten Spyro 2 yet. I'm right at Ripto. So, peace off. Uh, oh. In a day, folks. For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000... It has certainly been a day... Um, on the phone all morning with IT, because our work computers set up some sort of firewall shit. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? But, uh, super fucking stupid. See, this whole game could have been avoided if they just weren't assholes. Man, was Tom Kenny the perfect fucking voiceover, or was Tom Kenny the perfect fucking voiceover? Like, come on, man. He's a modern-day Mel Blanc. For those of you who don't know Mel Blanc is, I, I don't know, pick up a goddamn fucking book. Hold on, I just gotta make sure um, that, that it says we're playing the right game. Uh, in my opinion, 2 is the best one. 2 is better than this one. Uh, 3 is the worst one. With that said, this is still a pretty fun little jaunt here. The whole thing with this one is the main collectible is not hard to find. You know, the dragons. Although there is a point where the balloonist won't take you somewhere unless you have enough treasure. And then I think there's another one where he won't let you go unless you have enough eggs. Eggs. But this, they did such a great job. Hold on, I think I want to hear the original music. The original music is so good. Oh, there it is. Uh, music original. They literally redid every single dragon for this game. Every single dragon is its own like made up guy and I love that. That's a level of effort that you don't see a lot in modern games. Love it. But yeah, it's just kind of easy to find them all. This isn't a particularly difficult game to 100%. The only problem is finding all the gems. There's maybe one level that's kind of hard to navigate where you like have to charge. You, you go super fast in these like mountaintop trees. Yeah, I remember my mom bought me this game. She's like, oh look, a cute little game with a, a cute little purple dragon on the cover. You know, that's... It's innocent enough. Which it was. That's why my parents were the best. They were like, okay, he clearly likes this thing. Let's try and... Try and get him some shit that he likes. Also, it helps if you're an ADHD-infested demon child who will only behave unless he's at a sporting event. Yeah, what's annoying about this one is, in, in the second one, if you push Y, he does this little flutter at the end that gets you over a lot of humps in terms of... hard places to glide, and in this game, that's not there. 
kind of like Crash Bandicoot with the fucking uh, slip, the slide, the slide jump. It's amazing how similar Spyro and Crash were in their development. One was something new and cool. I'm not saying Spyro or Crash invented the 3D platformer, but but both games, one was something new and original and cool with at least a new and original cool character in a new land. You know, clearly Mario 64 kind of gave them all the blueprint for how to do this. And then two was like the perfect level of new. And how do I want to say it? new and old isn't the right phrase, but two is just the perfect level of let's add a few new things, but keep it just as fun as the original. And then three for both franchises was too many new things, too many new things that aren't fun. Too many new things that are taking away from what made us like the game. Too many new things that we just fucking hate. Crash Bandicoot 3. The jet ski levels. The plane levels. The motorcycle levels. Kiss. My. Dick. Spyro 3. The sparks levels. Where you're the fucking dragonfly and it's like a top-down shooter. It, the game turns into Galaga. Uh, the, the skate park levels. One of the Spyro 3 developers must have been jerking off to Tony Hawk. Because he was like, kids like skateboarding games. Let's, uh, let's put skateboarding in a 3D platforming adventure dragon game. Yeah. How about let's not? How about let's the fuck not? To this day, I've never beaten 3. Maybe we start 3 and we, we beat it. What's funny is, what happened as a child absolutely happened as an adult. I remember buying 3 on my own with chore money that I earned. I bought 3 and I played it and I just quit. Like, 30-40% and I'm like, this doesn't feel right. I don't like this. I'm not having fun. I'm just playing it because it's a Spyro game and I expect to have fun and I'm not which is very different Crash 3 as much as I shit on the new additions to that game I played the fuck out of that game that was one of the first games I beat like 100% to completion and oh fuck But anyways, God, the music, the music in this game and Spyro and even three, this is truly an original sound. Like, I don't know any other video game with music like this. It's, it's good and I love it. Like every world, every video game is has got some pretty nice original music so whoever the composer is thank you Oswin we rescued Oswin and they paid attention to detail toys for Bob paid attention to detail we're in the artisan world so Every dragon is pretty, like, artsy-fartsy looking. You know, the next world after this, I think, is literally like a war-themed world. And every dragon looks like a general. And then after that, there's like a wizard world. Where every dragon looks like a wizard. Just little things, little things they didn't have to do. I do remember playing this as a kid on the original PlayStation, and it is certainly not. <laughs> the dragons look like shit. 
in retrospect. First time I played it, I was like, oh, the dragons look cool. Playing it in retrospect, I'm like, oh, all of them look the same. Or most of them. Most of them say something different, at least. A good, a good chunk of them near the end of the game just say, thank you for releasing me, Spyro. And it's like, oh, the developers got tired. <laughs> Yeah, what do lives mean in this game? Lives are stupid in games like these, to be honest. Oh, wee. Oh, Spyro 1, Spyro 1, you are a dream. Looks like Rob Riggle. <laughs> I was in the Marine Corps, and I'm a halfway funny actor. That is my whole personality. Here, let's see what the reignited people have for us. Sorry about that. The reignited music sounds good too. It's just... I love that they put the original in. I think I 100% at that level. I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. If I did not, oh fuck. If I did not, oh fuck. If I did not, oh fuck. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, we got them all. See, in the second game, the orbs were perfect. The orbs were like... We need to give them something to do besides find these dragons. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't wake up just yet. No, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Put everything down. Come here. There we go. No, 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 you're still tired. You're just no, 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 no. Go back to sleep. There's no way you are just taking a ten-minute nap after all of that. You have to be fucking kidding me. God damn it. Oh. Yeah. Good morning. You've been up since six. We just went swimming. We went to the park, and you're gonna take a twenty-minute nap. I swear to God. Are you seriously waking up right now? I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I'm a, I'm a good parent. I'm just like, you've been up since 6 a.m. We did all the things. Take a nap. Go back to sleep. Uh, sure, Squidward. Ah! Ah! Oh. You behave, I won't be as mad. Just gave her a nice big bottle. We had some mashed prunes. God damn it. Oh, hello, Spyro. 
in the 20s, we would take those colored dragons and we'll throw them in the back of the bus of the dragons. Yes. You know, it could just be my fault, because when she goes down for a nap, I usually just put her on a big soft blanket in front of me on the floor. Versus, like, at least if I put her up in her crib, maybe the sound of my big, dumb, stupid fucking voice won't wake her up. Whatever, this just means she'll nap again. She'll nap again! Yeah, of course. Get up now. Get up and walk around. No! I've forgotten this one. You cannot touch the water. In Spyro 2, somehow he just learns the ability to swim underwater. And in this one, he's just a big bitch. Oh, yeah. Get that one. That's a life. I always wondered why a lot of these 3D games gave you lives. They just didn't know any better. In 2D games, lives matter. You get a game over, you go to the beginning, you're like, fuck. Because they were arcade games and they were meant to suck quarters out of you. And then when home consoles were invented, the punishment of losing lives for most of these 3D platformers is kind of an odd thing. Because if I died now, I would just start over and I could come back to this level and everything I gathered is already gathered. It's not really a punishment other than I, I had to take five minutes to restart the game. I think Mario Odyssey got it right with, oh, well, if you die, you lose coins. You know, there are a few games that just don't do punishment correctly. I say this as someone who is like, Fuck from software! You know, Elden Ring, Dark Souls, yada 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 yada, who use punishment almost too well. By the way, I guess from software, the people who made Elden Ring and all the Dark Souls games, they're done with their next game. Which let me just say, fuck you. We're not we're not doing that again. Which, to be fair, I'm not trying to shit on their studio. Most of their games are pretty well made. Uh good voiceover work, good graphics. Gameplay, eh, I have my I have my back and forths, but regardless. They're pretty well-made games. In a world of Cyberpunk 2077s, you know, being a Dark Souls isn't that bad. But if the next game is just back to their linear formula, no. Why was, Dar why was Elden Ring so much more popular than the Dark Souls games? How did it bring all the casuals in? Because it was open world. And if we ran into an area... Or if we ran into a bunch of enemies that were too strong, we could simply just wander around until we were strong enough. Can I... Should, do I go up here? No, okay. You could just wander around until you're strong enough to fuck with whatever you need to. I think that's pretty obvious. And yet, despite that change made by the creators, who probably had that in mind, like, oh, maybe more people will enjoy this game. Because in all the Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro games, if you weren't good enough to get past a certain part, that was it. You were stuck there until you fucking nutted up and, you know, 77 tries later. Oh, these fucking guys. There we go. Which most of us are, are not going to enjoy. Sorry. And you know what's crazy? I didn't know this. As a child, I loved the Armored Core series, where you, like, build your own robot, and then your robot, like, you would fly through a level and just fuck shit up with your own custom-built... I don't know, it's like an ugly version of Gundam Wing. But I fucking loved that game, and just very recently, as an adult, I've learned that from software... The Elden Ring Soulsborne company that I give shit to constantly. They invented and made the Armored Core series. What? 
You know how much my mind was blown? Imagine if you, like, grew up, like, hating Call of Duty. And out of nowhere, you're like... You're like, wait a minute, Call the people who made Call of Duty made Mario 64? They didn't. I'm just saying. Like, to learn that From Software did Armored Core, I was like, what? Really? The only thing I had to say after that was, why the fuck haven't you made a new one? There hasn't been a new Armored Core since the PS2 era. We're now at the PS5, folks. We're now at the goddamn PS5. Look at this guy with his Super Saiyan Goku hair. You piece of shit! Here's another thing they added for the remake that I like. I think in only Spyro 2 and 3 this exists. But they put it in the first one just for to be nice, if you click the left stick, sparks will point at gems that you're missing. Which can honestly be a little annoying. Because you'll be at one part of the level and you'll be like, where the fuck are you pointing at sparks? See, like, where is he pointing now? I clearly missed something up top. Are we going to do a 100% playthrough? I don't know, maybe. It's not that difficult. In this one, you just have to rescue the dragons and collect the gems. The, to collect every dragon in every level is not hard. They're all in really obvious places. You really don't even need any exploration. You can find most dragons just exploring levels on your first try, which is not bad. I'm not shitting on them for doing that. All right, Sparks, where? Where did I miss a gem over here? Oh, well, motherfucker. Ugh. How's everyone doing? Look at him, look at him. I love doing this. Just charging and jumping. I'm just holding the charge and the jump button. Yep. Yay! We're just holding the charge and the jump button. Yay! The music on this level. Oh. The music on every level. I know Hollywood. You know, Hollywood's been remaking a lot of the movies we liked as kids. Independence Day. Dumb and Dumber. Uh... Can we include Transformers in there? Probably not. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, there are a lot of shows on TV that are just bet hedging their bets on nostalgia. I am 4,000% okay with the video game world going, what if we just remade that game you liked when you were 9 years old with better graphics? Yeah, I'm fucking for it. Go for it. You want to remake Spyro? You want to remake Crash Bandicoot? Go fucking head. Uh, dude, what about all your other videos where you say stop trying to remake Mario 64 and Legend of Zelda and all those N64 games? Yeah, that's different because they've gone on to make better games. Spyro 1, 2, and 3 are pretty much it. You know, Crash 1, 2, and 3 are pretty much it. There are a plethora of new, good Zelda and Mario games to play. You don't need Mario 64 in, eight, in 1080p, 4K, 60 frames per second. Sure, it would be enjoyable. If they released that game, I would buy it. I would play it, I would stream it, I would YouTube it, I would, I would masturbate on the controller for it, but it's not needed. It's just like every time Nintendo has like a, hey, we're doing a Nintendo uh, showcase for new games coming out next quarter or next year or whatever. And 
It just people will be in the comments every single time. No Mario 64 HD remake. No Zelda Ocarina of Time HD remake. Why not? How much dedicated wham do I need to play Zelda Minecraft? I want to play Zelda Minecraft. Like, is this like, dude, what? Oh my god, those gems got stuck. Anyways, you know what I mean. If you want a Mario game with halfway decent graphics that's fun to play, go play fucking Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, they released the Mario 3D Anniversary. Play Mario 64 or Mario Sunshine or Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo Switch. So that's that's the difference. You know, Spyro after Spyro 3 went into the very dark world of Skylanders. Those stupid fucking toys you bought. Those toys you bought that you put on top of a thing plugged into your TV that would unlock more characters in the game. No, 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 no. That was bad. We don't talk about that, Spyro. The same way we don't talk about Crash Bandicoot after fucking Crash 3. What they did with Crash 4 was an abomination. And then Mind Over Mutant and Crash Twin Sanity? Oh, no, 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 no! So that is why the 3D remakes of these are, are more meaningful and purposeful than what you would need as a remake for Mario or Zelda or fucking Metroid or whatever game you have a boner for. Remake Kirby for the NES! No, just play the newest Kirby game. Just play the newest Yoshi game. Nintendo, every console generation, just remakes all their games with better graphics and some new gimmick that's fun. Which, by the way, that new Pokemon game coming out in fucking November, oh my god. That is coming out, I think, 11 days after God of War Ragnarok. Oh, <laughs> oh we are so screwed when that comes out. I'm going to need to, like, take a sick day from work. I'm going to have to tell my significant other, like, oh, yeah, I'm going into work, but I'm secretly lying. I'm going to have to go to a hotel, plug in my PlayStation, and be like, oh, my God, God of War, God of War, God of War, God of War, God of War. Just to let the fan base know, I am joking. I am joking. That's seriously a good idea, though, as I make that up in my head. I read a tweet the other day that spoke to me that told me I probably should have done that. It was like, give your body and mind a rest or it will get a rest without your permission. And I was like, oh, Fuck, I've totally had that experience. Hmm. Holy fuck, do you have seven nipples? Or what the hell is going on with your skin, buddy? Oh man, you got no neck. You got that conservative 50-year-old look of just having no neck. But anyways, with that said, maybe I should execute that plan <laughs> and just take a day off. For the record, do you give your lady a day off? Yes, I do. Once in a while, she'll get a weekend off and most of them will spend together. But once in a while, she'll have a weekend and I'll just take the baby like to a friend's place. How did I not flame him? Fuck you. Fuck you, Spyro. Fuck you and your fucking... Fuck this game. Let's quit. Let's quit right now and never play it again! But anyways, I'll take the baby. I'll leave her, uh... I'll leave her one of my credit cards and I'll be like, Go get a massage and then go take a nap and go take a bath and... Enjoy a day of not doing anything. So... 
you know, would it be the would it be the end of the world if if I did that? Yes, I got him. Okay. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, did you just learn how to open those? No, 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 no. The thing where all the video game consoles sit is in a box TV stand where you have to pull open everything, and she just opened it for the first time since birth. Oh, no. By the way, we'll be changing our name soon. Oh, boy. Stupid fucking hiccups. Hold on, folks. We have to get rid of our hiccups. We have to hold our breath for 30 seconds. Oh my god, we rescued Thor. By accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. Oh, that's new. There was no guidebook in the original Spyro. So that's new. I like that. And I've mentioned this on several videos already. Toys for Bob, who made this, has now been tasked with keeping some fucking dumbass multiplayer shooter that fucking only weird fucking teenagers like so that's great so we likely will not see a Spyro 4 the same way we got a Crash Bandicoot 4 which makes me sad but it almost makes me not sad because if anyone's been watching the Crash Bandicoot 4 playthrough, not a fan. <laughs> they did so many things right, though. They did so many things right. They, they, they did the level design, character design, voiceover, story, music, everything great. Level design shit. Level design negative 40. Which, if you have a 3D platform and your level design is bad, ooh, that's... It's like it's like saying, hey, I made you a brand new BMW with all the fixings. But transmission, garbage. I just made that with some leftover TV parts I found in a dumpster. Good luck. That is Crash Bandicoot 4 in a nutshell. <laughs> they did so many good things. Level design. Ah, oh, let's put 700 boxes in every level. Make most levels something that's going to kill you 7,000 times on purpose because the level design is mean and you won't know what to deal with most things on your first try. All right, yeah, 100% level complete. Complete. All right, we, we're, we're 34 minutes in. We could go do the last boss. The boss? Every world had a boss? Ugh, take me back to my childhood. Put me in my original bedroom with my original PlayStation playing this game, please. What do you mean by original bedroom? I was one of those kids whose parents had a little brother seven years after I was born? My parents were not on the every two year have a kid thing. And when my brother came along, they were like, all right, you're in this other room. It's kind of an attic and it's kind of upstairs, but this is your room. 
I mean, I mean, no disrespect either. I actually loved it up there. I'm just saying. As <laughs> soon as he came along, they were like, "You're, you're upstairs now." And I didn't mind. But I, I, I have so many like vivid memories of like just sitting on the floor. I remember the rug was was brown. And I remember my old dresser. I remember my old like box TV. And I remember having to like hook everything up like separately cuz if I wanted to play PlayStation I needed I needed three different hookup cords in the back of the TV. If I wanted to play N64, I needed three different cords. Oh. Nostalgia. It's a powerful thing, Penny. Be careful, Spyro. I look like Brendan Fraser. I look like Fraser. I'm Fraser. Man, I remember my Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure. You piece of shit! Motherfucker! Isn't there a baby by you? Why are you yelling? She is so tired and is such a fighter of naps. She didn't even look at me just now. She just knows she's tired. So take a nap. That's longer than 20 minutes. Whatever. You know what? It'll just mean she'll sleep better tonight. We still have to drive and go get Friday dinner. Where's that little... What? What? Where's that little side hustle? This is not right. This is to the boss. What the fuck? Where's the little... Where? Oh, okay. Sorry. They made those dogs way more dangerous in the remake. <gasps> You're making sounds. You're bashing one thing against another and making sounds. See, look, everyone that walks up to any view in Elden Ring and is like, gorgeous view ahead. Like, yeah, man. We've had it in other games, too. Look at that. That's pretty. It is fucking 95 degrees outside right now with not a cloud in the goddamn sky. Which is why we went to the pool. You know what? Fuck you, dog. Fuck you, and fuck you! See, it's secretly just a sheep trying to get revenge. Okay, now Sparks is gone. Now I have to collect all the gems on my own. Oh, there this thing went down. Look at that. Get away from the remote. We did it! We completed the first world in Spyro. See, modern game developers would watch what I just did in 40 minutes and lose their mind. He'd be like, oh, look, he just 100%ed a bunch of levels on his first try. That's not good. This game is $79. We need replayability. We need multiplayer. We need all these things to make them want to play the game over again, or we can't charge this exorbitant price. No. Number one, you could... Uh, number This game was $40. Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy... 
which came with three games. Obviously, three games that were already made. They just remade them. Three games for $40. Relive your childhood for 40 fucking goddamn dollars. Maybe don't charge $70 for every fucking game. Oh man, you're you're probably on every list to introduce yourself to your neighbors. Ah, I forgot that it's called the Peacekeepers World. It's it's literally a fucking war torn world. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck flies by balloon? But anyways. Like, not every... That's what they did with Crash 4. They were like, this game is $60. We need replayability. So let's make every level just the dumbest fucking thing ever. To where if you truly do want to 100% the game. Or even just unlock some fun stuff in the game. You're going to need to replay that level 700 times. Which will create hours of gameplay. Which will justify the $60 price tag. The fact that game developers now, thanks to our wonderful capitalist society, the fact that it's more of a question of how do I justify the $60 price tag versus why don't I just make what I want to make and what the end result is is what I charge them. God forbid if you have a game you can beat in anywhere from 5 to 8 hours, try charging $40 for it. Maybe more people will fucking buy it. Which some do. It's mostly indie games, but... Welcome to Peacekeeper. Oh shit, he's got a Kratos axe. Look at his purple hair. Do you have destroyer abilities like Beerus the Destroyer? Kakarot. Cake. See, all the guys are... Oh, I didn't have any dragons left. I died. He literally murdered Spyro. He murdered Spyro! How could he murder Spyro? Burp, burp, burp! Burp, 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 burp! Burp, burp, burp! All right. I think that's it for Spyro 1. I'm looking forward to beating this one for all of you. Hopefully you all love it and enjoy it and you watch it and you masturbate to it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go there. That's what we want you to do. Yeah.